What's up guys, it's your boy Jay from JS Films. We're gonna go back to the Vinci Resolve 14 just to take a look at some of the new features it has. Just an update about the Panasonic GH5. People are claiming that the paid version of Resolve supports the Panasonic GH5's 10K, uh, sorry, 10-bit 4K videos. So I went ahead and bought it. Should be coming in this week and next week and I wanna see it for myself. Um, I guess it's about time to actually pay for DaVinci. It was free for the longest time, but now they're actually starting to separate the free version and the paid version because most of the new features are only available in the paid version. So today we're just gonna go over some of the new Resolve Effects features, which are pretty cool, but it's not After Effects. It's just simple stuff if you need it quick. So we'll look at a couple of them today. Uh, if you go to the Edit tab here, I'm already there. You click on your effects library and this effects library just got so much bigger. Now this is what it looked like before from the Vinci Resolve 12.5 but if you click this little button here you actually have open effects and it just open, it opens this whole new tab with all these new effects. We'll look over the couple, uh, just a couple of them so the video is not too long and then we'll uh, look at other ones later on. We'll take a look at the uh, effects blur now this is available to the uh, free version so you can see regular box blur, uh, blur if you want to take a look at the actual settings you just click on the inspector here click on open effects and that's when you change it up um, as far as actually animating this I, I don't think you can but I will look it up and keep messing around with it but it doesn't look like you can so to delete it, you just click this trash can. We'll look at the directional blur. Snow, uh, zoom in here. Click on open effects again. So directional blur, blur angle, you can move it around. Pretty cool. And the blend is the opacity, like I said. Uh, delete that one. Look at the Gaussian. Gaussian is used a lot for like uh, baked up the field in Photoshop and After Effects at least. So yeah, that, man, that looks freaking good. It's crazy how they're integrating all these Resolve effects in the Vids Resolve. They're just making it like a one-stop shop. Uh, Lens Blur is also used for like faked up the field. Click open, hexagon, octagon, which is my favorite. But yeah, dang, and it's really fast too. Like, I don't have the paid version, but this is a 4K footage on a 2012 computer, you know. This is 4K 8-bit slow-mo, uh, 48 frames per second. But that is cool. Let's go ahead and delete this one so we don't have a lot of them. Uh, let's look at Mosaic. Oh yeah, the pixelated effect, of course. Cool beans. Wow, all right, radial, yeah. This is cool too, you can use this for depth of field changes, as long as you don't overdo it. Man, this is like starting to look like when After Effects you stick came out with all the new effects they have. I wonder what the or BMD is planning with DaVinci Resolve. They're, they're getting crazy with this, especially when they added the new audio feature, which we'll go over later. This is the zoom blur. Okay, um, then scrolling down here, we're gonna look at some light effects, which is some cool stuff. Um, we're gonna look at the glow first, which, okay, is that on? Hmm, this one's not turning on. That's weird. Okay, maybe that's broke. It's still in beta phases, so um, let's look at the lens flare. Okay, the lens flare is working, but it's only for studio. So that's crazy, man. If you're looking for that J.J. Abrams look, sci-fi look, you can do it here now. They even have freaking preset for it. Um, positioning, you can position it. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> it's like a mini After Effects built in DaVinci Resolve. That's insane. That's crazy. Aperture, aperture blades. Oh, you can even change the aperture blades. That's cool. All right, let's delete that one. Let's go to light race. Now, light race, I used to actually use like a plugin for this, but 
now it's built in DaVinci Resolve free version because it doesn't have that studio so it's actually included in the free version light raises change the position of it that's awesome man they're doing crazy stuff with this thing okay it's probably why they didn't get to make a new camera because they work so hard on this freaking software let me try to glow again looks like glow doesn't freaking work right now Oh, is that what it, there it is, shine threshold, we gotta go the other way, duh, reset, okay, got it, change the spread, okay, so that, that does that, can we change the color, yeah, that's cool, 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 okay, alright guys, um, I don't like making my videos too long because people don't have attention spans for it, so we're gonna look over the, all the other ones, just uh, later on in another video but if you have any questions ask me uh, like I said I have the paid version coming in so keep a, keep an eye out for that um, and thanks for watching see you